So yesterday was my last day riding with Charlie. You're gonna make me blub now. Huh? Said you're gonna make me blub. <laughs> oh, <laughs> elbow. Right. Right. See yeah, you. Good. Somewhere. Yeah. Um, uh, set off in the morning on my own, continued on the mid-Atlantic BDR. Um, did about, oh, I don't know, 20, 30 miles. Um, switched back over the mountains, same as what I've been doing for the last week. Done probably eight or 900 miles down through, maybe not that much, anyway. Um, so I decided it was time to make a little bit of ground. So I jumped on the interstate down to Bristol, not Bristol in UK, um, Bristol here in Tennessee, I think it's Tennessee. Uh, anyway, I did some Googling, found a place to stay and I uh, found a Mountain View motorcycle camp, which is purely for motorcyclists and it is absolutely fantastic. Um, the owners have been wonderful, they put me up in a little cabin, um, they fed me, they watered me, they coffeed me, I've had hot showers, I've been able to recharge all my electricals, done a little bit of washing, um, I've washed my bike, done a little bit of maintenance, repacked my luggage, kind of just on the road stuff. Um, but it's nice uh, after I think it was five nights camping in a row to um, to have a base for two days. So t tonight's going to be my last night here and then I will head off tomorrow towards, I think it's called Maggie's Peak. I'll have to check that. Um, there's a motorcycle museum down there that I'm going to have a look at and then I'm going to head towards Memphis. Um, uh, I'm going to get myself a new tyre um, from a guy over there, um, not far from Memphis. So yeah, I'm now on my on my Todd, solo. Um, so yes, I didn't really film anything because it was kind of pointless. Anyway, this place is beautiful. Um, mountain in the distance. I think where I'm at is 990 meters, which is that not classed as a mountain? I don't know, but it's beautiful anyway. So this morning from Mountain View Moto Cycle, campsite they're having a ride out called brad brad and these are all the guys and my 690 getting ready to go for breakfast before going for the ride so i'm going to join them for breakfast before i head to maggie valley i've got to say a massive shout out for mark and janine here at mountain view motorcycle campgrounds they've absolutely looked after me for the last couple of days it's been incredible to be fair i could quite happily stay here for a little bit longer but i do need to start covering some more ground because i've only covered about 1500 miles so far um so today i'm going to do some of the trans america trail and then get down to this motorcycle museum but um yeah anyone who's in the elk park area in north carolina i think this is um come because these guys are just the best everyone's been so friendly it's just been it's been a pleasure, to be fair. Um, like I say, don't really want to go. You, you, yeah. you have no problem. <laughs> hey, you that's why. Yeah. Hello, I'm Jeff, and this is Sergio. So I, I've just met these two wonderful people who have entertained my story of travel. But um, they're going to do it too someday, maybe in a camper, maybe on a bike. Yep. yep. Hopefully, sounds like a good time. Come to this 
museum in Maggie's Valley. And I thought it was a little museum. It's actually really big. It's called Wheels Through Time, started up by a guy called Dale. L long story, um, you have to Google it. Uh, the guys did tell me, but I, I can't retain that much information. It started off as a private collection by his dealership, and eventually opened up this museum. And uh, it's full of so many amazing motorcycles through time. It's absolutely incredible. Anyone who's down this neck of the woods, or like me, I was I was nowhere near it. I was a hundred miles away. I uh, I went off route to come down here. I'm really pleased I did. And I've also met Andy. Andy was from Dartford, ex Royal Green Jacket, cycled a bit um, for Africa, rode across Russia on his Africa Twin, um, done South America, done North America. Another overlander, really nice to uh, listen to an English accent as well from Dartford. Um, yeah, well, well worth coming here. Um, impressive, really impressive. Only $15 to get in. <laughs> Today, really hot. So after leaving the museum, museum um, two wheels through history, I've come across to uh, Smoky Mount, Smoky Mountains. Yeah, that's it, Smoky Mountains um, from Maggie's Valley. I'm now about to do the Tail of the Dragon, which is a famous road uh, here in the US. Uh, in fact, it's kind of famous to anybody who knows about roads, I suppose. Must be 30 plus degrees, uh, rather hot. Just put five gallons of fuel in my bike, which I'm quite impressed about. Um, I've done 315 miles on the four tanks. So I just thought I'd have a quick five minute break and then I'm gonna do the tail of the dragon. Then I need somewhere to camp. Um, it's been a good day, it's been a good day. So after doing the um, Tail of the Dragon, isn't it? I've come up to this campsite called Look Rock, which is right on top of a big rock that overlooks the valley. And I've met this man, Jack. Who, Hello. Who has absolutely taken me. <laughs> Captain there. Jack to you. Captain Jack, but not Sparrow. No, uh, He's no given Sparrow. me wine. He's given me dinner um, and hospitality. So yet again, America is delivering on every level. <laughs> so you are a guitarist. Flamenco, and uh, he's seventy I'm a, odd. I'm seventy one. Seventy one and a half. <laughs> and I've spent my life as a musician and a guitar teacher. It's incredible. So we're going to have a good old chinwag and a sing song oh. later. <laughs> cool. Cool. That's in terms of education. Really? <laughs> yeah, definitely. 
So when I was in Spain, I I went to a British American school in for eighth grade, and I they were like two years ahead of me, so it's like futile. So I just sat at home and played my guitar, learned how to paint. And so you oil, watercolor, oil, oil, oil. Lot, lot, the palette, palette yeah. knife. Cool. Yeah. So you're a man of many talents too. I am. See, my talents are mechanical. Yours are yours are the arts. They are. They are. They're the arts. Yeah, but I fly seaplanes. Yeah. And I scuba dive. Oh, I swim like and a brick. <laughs> <laughs> Straight down. And uh, no, what else do I do? I don't know. I drink lovely French wine. Lovely. Well, that's not leave Spain. And I'm, I'm on the Spanish. This is the uh, the Mad Harry fella. Um, I've discovered a wine called 19 Crimes. Yeah. Wow. Argentina. That's the one. Argentina. And uh, a Vouvray, which is a French that I've been drinking a bit, okay. a bit recently. I've only just gone into wine. My ex-wife, she's French, and she'll tell you, I never used to drink wine, but now I do. So she's like... You'll live longer, son. Apparently so. I'll listen to those sizzle. So that deer came from Kentucky, and I shot that with a crossbow. Oh, wow. At about 55 yards. And... Brought it back home, did it the way I used to do things in Minnesota in the garage, and I just cleaned it up, processed everything. I got some hamburger, I got some steaks, some roasts, and this is the end result here at Look Rock. Look Rock. Tonight. So how I ended up here at Look Rock, I found a campsite called Pumpkin Motorcycle Camping, but they weren't open, but the woman directed me here, which was about 12 miles, and... Um, yeah, but what a result it was closed because I've met Jack. It's great. This sumptuous feast of venison, baked potatoes, and um, cabbage. Cabbage. Cooked by Chef Jack. Captain Jack. Captain Jack. Captain. Yes. Cool. Yes, and you have to understand that this, here we are in the wilderness, and nonetheless, being civilized with wine. We have French Sometime. wine, venison. It's good. What more can I ask for? Just girls. <laughs> Just girls. Kansas City. Kansas City, here I come. I'm going to Kansas City. Kansas City, here I come. They got some crazy little women there. And I'm going to get me one. I might take a bus, I might take a plane, I might take a train, but I'm going just the same. I'm going to Kansas City, Kansas City, here I come. They got some crazy little women there, I'm going to get me one. I might take a bus, I might take a train. I might take a bus when I'm going to say I'm going to Kansas City. Kansas City, here I come. They got some crazy little women there. I'm going to get me one or two or three or four.
That's just gold. Gold!